Even with a mouthful of sweets, disgraced congressman and scandal-plagued New York mayoral candidate Anthony Weiner found a way to give a voter a tongue-lashing Wednesday. Well, I'll tell you why until I walk out there say anything. That's courage. That's courage. The heated exchange took place inside a Brooklyn bakery after the voter called Weiner a derogatory name and said he was, quote, married to an Arab. Don't use language to things. You have a nerf team oh, yeah. Wednesday's verbal volley may have been the final straw for a campaign already in free fall. Just 7% of voters here now support the one-time frontrunner after he made national headlines admitting he continued sexting with women even after resigning from Congress in 2011 when he was exposed for doing the same thing. That's your bad example for the people. No, that's obvious. Okay, your no, behavior that's why we have a You're going to no. judge me. I'm not running for office. What you did is Ask your behavior. rabbi. Ask your rabbi. Who has nothing judge me. to do with me. Ask my rabbi. I'm not judging you. I'm telling you what you did is deviant You're calling behavior. me deviant. That's not Stay judging me. Stay out in public. Go home. That's not judging Go me. Go home and get a job. In other words, not the job of New York City Mayor. You deliver for yourself. Baloney. I deliver for this community. Take care, buddy. Nice talking to you. Later, when a Twitter follower accused him of having a meltdown, Wiener fired back. If by meltdown you mean stood up to a heckler, he tweeted, yep, did that. That's what mayors have to do sometimes. Those remarks that Wiener calls vile and racist were about his wife, Huma. And it's worth noting that Wiener said his wife would be joining him on the campaign trail several times. But she has not been seen since her initial appearance with him at a press conference. Primary day, just five days away. And also worth noting, yesterday was Anthony Wiener's birthday. Oh, okay. He's way behind, though, right?